Hey everyone, so today I'm trying something new. I feel awful. I have the worst allergies and I prefer to be off screen as much as possible. I've been talking about this baked bronzer that I really like. It's the Baked Body Frosting by Laura Geller and I dropped it actually on my way to um, show it in a video and so I thought now would be a good day to fix it on camera. So this will probably be the last this will probably be the last that you see of me until the very end and um, I'm going to show you how I fix this. I've never done this before so this will be a little beauty science experiment that we can all do together. Okay, so I have been spending most of my morning watching videos and on how to do this. So most of them are, let me get this in the shot, Ooh, here we go. Most of these are, are the same but I'm going to do most, I'm going to make it easier on me. So as you can see this is kind of messy. I would definitely recommend putting a paper towel down. I'm going to do all the crushing and remixing in a glass bowl. Now the idea I've been told is to smush this up. You can use a spoon to really break it up into a fine powder. I actually have an antique uh, mortar and pestle but um, further thought, I'm not going to use it. I don't need it. And I'm just smooshing this up into a very finely milled, ground up powder. I think the finer you smush it up, it seems like the easier it is to put it back together again into something that will more closely resemble the original product. I looked at this and I realized that I'm going to get a better finished product if I really get everything that was in here out. This is the terracotta that it was baked onto on the bottom here. This is not the actual product. So I'm just going to get as much of the old stuff out and give it as smooth a surface as possible to cling to. I'm going to add rubbing alcohol. From what I can tell, it doesn't matter what the percentage is. So the idea is not to saturate it, but just basically put enough in there to make it a paste. So obviously we need a little bit more. And from what I can tell, it doesn't really matter if you add too much because, okay, I'm gonna add a little too much. Because, oh, that's pungent, because, um, the rubbing alcohol will evaporate anyway, so what's the big deal? So I just want to mix it all up, and then you take your stuff and you put it back in the... Sorry, I'm left-handed, so this might not work out the way I want it to. You put it back in the container. looks like sludge. Now I know I'm leaving a lot of product in here. I think and go get a spatula. Just to make it easier to spread, I'm going to use this butter knife or spreader that somebody gave me as a gift and I was never going to use because this is just not my thing and I'm going to spread it whoops, like uh, as smoothly as I can. It originally was a little bit domed shaped, so I'm not expecting it to fit perfectly in here. And we're just, I'm just gonna work on this for a while, and I'm gonna get it right to the edge. Now I've also seen in a number of videos where they picked it up and dropped it a bunch of times, kinda to bounce the air bubbles out. I don't know if that actually would work, but I'm going to do it anyway. So from what I've been reading, uh, at this point I'm just going to try to clean up the edges a little bit. Ew. This just looks like brown sludge. I really hope this works. So I'm going to clean up the edges. I'm going to pray that my hair does not fall in. I would recommend tying back your hair for those of you that have long hair. So from what I've read, I leave this to set for about an hour, and then there's another step, but this is what it looks like so far. Looks like poo. 
smells like rubbing alcohol. I'll be back in about an hour and I'll show you what the next step is. Okay, about an hour has gone by and I just want to kind of smooth it a little bit more. So what I have seen people do is take a tissue or in this case a clean paper towel and just kind of, actually I need a spoon for this. I'm taking a larger teaspoon and just kind of gently rubbing it along the surface. This is to absorb any excess rubbing alcohol and to kind of smooth it a little. So that's that. I'm just going to leave it be and then we'll take a look at it tomorrow and see how it all turns out. So, um, new outfit, new day. I let this dry overnight and here it is in the package and it doesn't look as pretty as it does when you buy it straight from the store, but I can tell you it's hard as a rock and it's back to its pretty state. In fact, here it is. I am wearing it today. So this definitely works and I'm glad that you were able to follow along with me and try this little science experiment. I am glad to know that it works and hopefully won't have to do it again. Hopefully I will not be dropping any more makeup, but if I ever do, good to know that I have a way to fix it. Hope this was helpful. As always, comments, questions, list them below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.